In this video, I'm going to give a short demonstration of the WebLogic Image Tool, which is a new open source tool to automate image creation and patching. It will allow users to create customized images where they can choose the base image, either Oracle Linux or a previously created WebLogic image, the version of Java they want to use, the version of WebLogic Server or Fusion Middleware Infrastructure, and we're working on adding more Fusion Middleware products as well. They can choose a specific PSU or take the latest available PSU and provide a list of one-off patches. Additionally, the user can also provide a domain definition using the WebLogic Deploy tool or WebLogic Scripting tool if they want to have the image tool create domain as well as install the binaries. The tool will automatically download all required patches or PSUs from my Oracle support using the user's support credentials and the MyRacle support REST APIs. Patches are automatically checked for conflicts. Users must currently download installers manually due to the license presentment requirement. But installers and patches are cached locally so that they don't need to be downloaded over and over again. The tool will build an image for you created using the recommended image layering techniques, although you can opt out of this and put everything into one layer if you want to. It'll install the binaries and patches and perform cleanup. It'll follow our existing best practices to minimize the image size as much as possible. And it'll ensure that the resulting image is still patchable and only uses standard publicly documented Oracle tools and APIs. It can optionally push the image to a repository for you. And the tool is fully scriptable and can be used in a CI CD process. Just as an FYI, we do have a small experimental web UI that pulls down the available installer versions, PSUs, and patches filtered by the previous input directly from my Oracle support. This is not part of the image tool itself, and it's not part of what we're paying to open source. So why is creating a domain image so hard? Why do we need a tool? Well, you need to download a bunch of stuff. You need the operating system base image, you need any additional utilities or patches. You need your JDK, your WebLogic installer or your middleware installer. You need your PSU, and then you need any one-off patches that you need to, that you wanna have installed in your domain. And finding the one-off patches can be challenging because the patch number alone doesn't give you necessarily the right patch. You have to make sure you search against the right version and the right PSU combination to find the exact right patch that you need. Plus, patches can conflict, so you need to check if there are any conflicts. And some patches may require OPatch itself to be updated. So you may also need to download and install the OPatch update. So once you've downloaded all of those, you then need to get your Docker files or samples from the GitHub registry, repository, sorry. Um, you need to build a server JRE image, you need to build a WebLogic binary image, then you need to build a patch image, which may include up, upgrading OPatch, installing PSUs, installing one-off patches, running OPatch cleanup, and then you need to build the domain. So there's quite a lot of steps. There's quite a lot of moving parts and things that can go wrong. And this can take quite a long time um, to complete. There are also a number of challenges around Docker in general and domain images. Normally with Docker images, you want to maintain the layering so that you get advantage of the reduced storage requirements and the reduced time to pull images from registries. But this makes the build process more complicated. And today it is essentially impossible to update a lower layer without then needing to rebuild everything above it. So there are some promising projects to do with Docker rebasing that, that may make this easier in the future. But today it's, it's still a problem. And also we wanna make sure that our images are still patchable and fully supported and we haven't done anything magical or undocumented. WebLogic domains also have some additional challenges with the encryption key, which is used to encrypt various information in the domain and also by other upper stack products. There's no easy way today to export or import this key. Although we are working on a patch in uh, WebLogic 19 to allow that. And we will backport that. Um, if you recreate a domain today, 
after you, for example, after you've patched uh, a lower layer like the, the logic um, binaries or the JDK, then you'll actually end up with a different key. So WebLogic will consider that to be a different domain. So for example, if you try to do a rolling restart, the managed servers that were already running would reject the new managed server with a different key, thinking that it was trying to make a security attack on the domain and they wouldn't allow it to join. And if you just keep adding layers to the image every time you install a new application or change the config, you can also end up with large images and many of them. So the image tool helps automate a lot of these processes and deal with a lot of these challenges. Let's take a look at it now. As I mentioned, the image tool has a local cache where it keeps any installers and patches that you've already downloaded so that they don't need to be downloaded again. You can see that mine includes a JDK and two web logic installers. I have a small script here that will create a new image based on Oracle Linux 7 Slim, install JDK 8201, and with logic 12213 and the latest PSU. Let's run that now. Now you can see it's starting with the Oracle Linux base image. It's installing some necessary binaries and tools, creating the Oracle user. Now it will install the JDK. And now WebLogic server. Now it's going to install the patches. And we'll make a few final configuration changes for us. And it's completed. Let's take a look at the image it produced. We have the WebLogic server binaries installed. We have the version of Java installed that we asked for. And let's check the patches. And there's the patch set that we asked for. That completes this quick demonstration of the WebLogic image tool. Thanks for watching.